everything you need to know about the journal tab in your Edgewonk trading journal. First of all, I will hide the left menu to get a little bit more working space. You can do that by clicking on the hamburger icon here in the top left. Clicking it again brings back the menu. I'm also using the dark mode. If you want to switch between the light and the dark mode, you can do that by using the switch here at the top. The journal tab is the heart of your Edgewonk trading journal because it shows all of your trades in the journal. You have either added them manually or you have imported them right from your broker statement. If your trade has a green background and uses a green font, it means it's an overall winning trade. A trade with a red background and a red font shows a losing trade. A trade with a white font is a break-even trade. When you're using the light mode, the break-even trade has a black font. The journal is completely customizable, so you can rearrange the different columns. For example, we want to move the tilt meter to the front. We just click into it, drag it and pull it to the front. We can do that with all of the columns. To reset the view to the default view, we go here to the top right. And once you click the reset icon, everything goes back to the default view. You can also access the column manager here on the right. This shows you all of the available columns. A column with a blue check mark means that it is currently activated. You can also hide it by unclicking it. You can also move the columns using the column manager directly here. For example, we can again bring the tilt meter to the front and this is then also visible here in your journal. Using the tick boxes in the front of the journal brings up a few options. For example, if we take the first trade here, you'll see that you have options now to duplicate the trade or to delete it. When you click on duplicate, you are asked if you really want to duplicate the trade and then it creates a brand new trade with the same inputs. And now you can see we have two identical trades. We can click it again, then we delete it. You're asked if you really want to delete it, we confirm it and the trade is gone. You can also merge two trades. If you want to merge two trades, the trades need to have the same instrument and the same setup and also need to have the same directions. So either buy or sell. So when we select the two trades, you can see we get this option to merge the trade. Merging cannot be undone. So when you merge the trades, they will be combined into one single trade. You can open individual trades by just clicking into the row. This will bring up the specific trade. You can review all of the inputs. You can add or edit inputs as well. Here are the different tabs for navigating around the trades. For each trade, you have six screenshot slots. You can either upload the image from your computer or paste the URL. For example, the URL from your trading view screenshot. You can also manage and edit some of the trade inputs directly from the journal table. For example, if you click into the setup cell, you can change the setup right here from the table and you don't have to reopen the trade. You can do that for most of the columns that have text values. This will save you a lot of time entering and editing your trades, especially if you're using the import feature. The filters are also applicable to the journal and to all other tabs in Edgewonk. We can open the filter menu here in the top using the arrow on the left. And now you can apply the different filters. For example, we only want to see winning trades. And you can see now Edgewonk shows you only the winning trades. You can obviously also combine the different filters. Advanced filters can be found here where you can filter for your custom statistics or your trade comments. You can easily see when there is an active filter. If you have an active filter, it shows you the number of the filters that are active in the brackets here at the top. To clear the filters, we just click on the X icon. And now you are back to the overall default view with all of the trades visible.